Hello everyone, it's Lindsay, and today I am back. I took a little bit of a break. Um, for those of you who didn't know, I was recovering from pneumonia, but I'm trying to get back into the swing of things, and so today I wanted to bring you a process video, since it's been a hot minute since I've had one of those. I do wanna make a little side note that I did get a new iPhone this week, and so normally I film on a separate type of camera, but I'm trying to film on this new phone today. So leave me a comment down below, let me know what you think of the quality, the image quality. Um, the sound should pretty much be the same, but image quality, let me know what you think, if this one's acceptable, if I need to go back to my other camera. Um, my other camera is like a camcorder, and so it doesn't really matter. I just thought maybe it might be a little bit better quality since this is one of the new iPhones. I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below what you think, um, if it's an improvement or not. But anyways, I wanted to dive into the Redemption Unwrapped devotional kit from By the Well for God. I do have an unboxing and review of this kit, so I will link that down below. I believe that they are still stocking this in the shop, so all those links will be down below for you guys. Uh, it's structured that um, if you wanted to do it as an Advent study, it is 25 days. So you could do, you know, every single day leading up to Christmas, um, but it's not necessarily an Advent study as far as the topic. So you kind of can do it, you know, approach it however you want. I'm going to go ahead and document day six. I read through days one through five. Um, I will go back and document those, but I wanted to catch up with where you guys were so that when I'm doing this video, you can have the inspiration on the day um, and kind of be caught up with you guys. And then I'll backtrack on my own. But um, today we're talking about, um, so overall the content of this kit is talking about the different gifts that we've been given um, by God through our salvation. Today is just this gift of freedom that we are free, not necessarily from being held to the law because we still are required to obey God's law, the Ten Commandments, the commandments that he's given us in the Bible, um, but we are free from what they say the crushing impossible burden of a merit system for God's acceptance. So we're free from this idea of you know, if I obey the law better than somebody else, then I get a better spot in heaven or I get um, points from God or I get more favor from God. Um, that is very much a prosperity gospel type of thinking and that is not biblically accurate. Um, basically, you either are saved or you're not saved. There's no point system. Uh, and uh, we are required to follow the law, but it comes more from... Uh, a desire to be closer to God, um, our love, you know, showing our love to him through obeying the law versus, you know, this um, fear of punishment being the reason that we that we obey the law, if that makes sense. And so uh, we are camping out in Ephesians 2, 8 today. Uh, and so that is what I will be documenting. And so I am going to be doing some memory decks cards. I wanted to do this last month with last month's kit, and then I got sick, and I didn't get to finish that project. And so I thought I'd go ahead and do that for this month's kit. I hope that's okay um, to not be doing Bible journal entries. We're going to be doing um, memory decks cards. I may do Bible journal entries for other things throughout the month. So don't fear if this isn't your thing. But if you have questions about memory decks and the whole system and what that is, I will link a tip Tuesday down below for you guys talking all about that. This is one of the boxes that the cards will go into. So I've gone ahead and done a little bit of prep off camera just for the sake of the video because I have a lot of different things that I wanted to do. Uh, and so I went ahead and cut some papers. I have just a plain piece of cardstock. <coughs> that cough is still coming in. Anyways, I cut a piece of plain cardstock at four and a quarter by three and a half. And then this is one of the printed or one of the patterned papers from By the Well for God. This is something new that they're carrying in the shop. I'm obsessed. Obviously, I've already been cutting things out. So I used one of these. This is a physical product that you can purchase. Comes already pre-printed, double-sided papers for you. So I went ahead and cut out one of those at four and a quarter by three and a half, and that's going to be the front of my card. So I'm going to create another pocket this time around. Um, and then I have some other things that I went ahead and just prepped. This was a tag that I die cut out. I have some nesting tag dies. I will list those 
those down below. For this one, I actually use the printable papers. So you have a lot of different options for coordinating goodies this month. You, When you order the kit, the uh, Redemption Unwrapped kit, you also get an email with the digital elements. So the die cut elements, like the little girl and those little goodies come in um, an email. But you can also purchase, in addition to the kit, some digital papers. So these are some papers, obviously, <laughs> that are digital files. They um, come with a few different prints. You also have got a sheet that has some memory decks cards, even gives you directions for how to cut them and punch them and all that goodness. Some die elements, some die cut elements, and then there is a sheet of washi strips. So this is the pattern paper digital bundle that you can purchase. And the nice thing about this is you can print it on whatever mediums you wanted. If you wanted to print this on fabric, I've got some printed on clear sticker paper, cardstock, uh, vellum, you know, you name it, transparencies, you can print it on that. So I used one of the printable papers to die cut out this tag. And I'm not sure if I'm gonna do my Bible verse or my prayer on there. Not quite sure yet, but that's going to tuck into this little pocket. Uh, I went ahead and created some elements for my title. So I did the Elemental Alpha stamp. This is the open font. And I used a variety of the patterned papers from the Gifts of God paper pack. And I just stamped the letter on there and then fussy cut it out. And so now I have these like little custom alphas for my title in the papers that coordinate with the kit. So you could also do that with the digital papers if you wanted to do that. I have a couple of the die cut elements that came in the collection. Uh, and then this is actually gonna be a 3D bow. This is something that's new. Uh, this was sent to me by Coco and Reno. They are a die subscription plan. You can either sign up for monthly dies. These are manual die cutting dies. Um, or you can buy the sets individually. It's up to you. Um, the subscription is $14.99 a month. Or you can buy them individually for, I think it's like $19.99 or $20 or something like that. Um, so a little bit more. Uh, I have been on the hunt for a really good set of bow dies. However, I didn't want to pay, you know, $15, $20 for one or two dies because dies can be super expensive. So when they sent this to me, I was so excited because it's got uh, three different sizes of the 3D bows. I'll show you how to put that together today. And then it's got several uh, 2D bows in different styles and sizes in here as well. So there's tons and tons of dies. Like I said, $14.99 a month. I think that is amazing. If you sign up for the subscription, um, read the fine print because I'm not sure if you sign up in December if you get the December die you might start with January and then you have to buy this one separate but I'll have all that information down below for you guys but so I went ahead and just took the medium sized 3d bow and it's three separate pieces here this is the tails this creates the little loopy parts and then this is the centerpiece so I cut those out of some more of those pattern papers I'm going to use that on the front of this card I pulled out some tile alphas some washi tape from my stash um, one of the bow clippies I think I might be using the fabric from this today and then I'm going to do some gold foiling so I pulled out the we are memory keepers freestyle foil quill pens. I have a tip Tuesday all about these as well, so I'll link that down below. I wanted to add some gold detail to this paper. I think it would be really pretty to turn these little dots into gold dots, so I wanted to show you how to do that on something that's already printed. So we're going to be messing around with that a little bit, and we're going to put together a card hopefully fairly quickly. So let me go ahead and put you on fast forward, and we will put this together. Okay, so I'm going to start by foiling the paper. Uh, ideally, I wanted to use some tracing paper, but I couldn't find mine, so I just pulled out a piece of tissue paper here. You want something that you can see through, and it's also very thin. You could try this with vellum as well. So I added a little piece of washi tape to the top of my tissue paper to create a hinge, and then I'm going to secure my pattern paper to the table. And then now I'm gonna just take a pencil and on the tracing paper, I'm just gonna make a little mark in each spot that I want the foiling. So I can see those little yellow circles underneath my tissue paper. You probably can't see on camera, um, but I can see it. So I'm just making a little mark. And then now I can take a piece of the We Are Memory Keepers foil. You do wanna use this particular foil because it's meant to heat transfer with these pens. So I'm gonna slide that between the tissue paper and the pattern paper not moving any of the hinges. So that way I can just lay it back over and use my foil quill pen 
and I'm just going over all of my pencil marks and this is going to transfer the foil exactly where I want it on the pattern paper. So this would be a great way to jazz up your printable pattern papers or maybe you have, you know, a cheaper pattern paper set that doesn't have um, any embellishment to it or texture or anything like that and you want to add some foil detail. Um, this is a great way to kind of jazz up those pattern papers. So you can see here that transferred the foil exactly where I wanted it onto that pattern paper. So if you have more questions about creating that hinge and doing foiling and all that goodness, check out the video that I'll have linked down below. That'll have all the information about using those pens. I'm going to move on and add a little bit of washi tape to the bottom of this card. Uh, just layering up some things. I'm going to be adding those die cuts and I want something for those die cuts to sit on. So I just tore a piece of washi tape from my stash and, and added it to the bottom there. I don't know if you've noticed, but I have not punched the holes yet. I'm going to punch the holes after I get everything stuck down on here. So I'm just using a glue stick to attach those die cuts. I did trim off some of the white border off of those two die cuts. And then now I can go ahead and stick my blank white card behind there and then run this through my sewing machine. So I went ahead and sewed on three sides to create a pocket. And then I just went ahead and used my corner chomper to round the corners. I should have done that before I sewed it, but it worked out okay. And then now I'm gonna go ahead and just use my memory decks punch. It does punch right through the stitching detail, no problem. Uh, and it worked just fine. Now I'm going to assemble that little 3D bow. We're moving along pretty quickly here. It's super easy. You just fold back the two tails of the loops, I guess. Uh, I'm going to add a little bit of adhesive to the center there so it sticks down. And then I'll go ahead and add a little bit of adhesive to the center of the tails. And then that just sits right on top of there. And then that small rectangular piece is going to be the center part of the bow. You just kind of wrap it around, add a little bit of adhesive. Very, very, very simple. And like I said, that particular set comes with three different sizes of these 3D bows. They are super cute. You could even um, play around with layering some of the other um, 2D bows underneath that the loops of the 3D bow to create different tails if you wanted to. Uh, I'm going to be getting a lot of use out of that particular die. Uh, for my stamped alphas. I'm going to go ahead and add these through my Xyron sticker maker. This is just going to go ahead and add, add adhesive to the back side of each one of these letters and turn them into stickers. So now I have customized alpha stickers using those pattern papers and that stamp set. So I just pull off the sheet on the front and then now I can just pull these off and they've got adhesive on the entire back side of them. I'm just using some craft tweezers. Usually I use my uh, T ruler to make sure these are good and straight, but I'm taking um, a little going on the wild side like Tanya from Messy Bible, and I'm not going to use my ruler. I'm just going to stick them down and eyeball it and call it good. I do run my powder tool over the top of it just to um, cover any adhesive that might be exposed from the Xyron sticker maker. Um, that powder grabs a hold of the adhesive, that way it's not uh, sticky and that way it doesn't stick to anything in my memory box. It's also great if you're working in a um, Bible, that way your pages don't stick together. It just goes ahead and takes away any stickiness that might be exposed. So I'm just gonna use a combination of these tile stickers to spell out my title. It's gonna say the gift of freedom. And then I can go ahead and adhere that bow down. So just add a little bit of adhesive towards the bottom of the bow. This does add some dimension, it is a 3D bow, but that's the nice thing about working with these memory decks cards. Now for my tag, I decided to go ahead and use one of these, um, is it like an eyelet? Eyelet. Uh, instead of a like hole reinforcer or something like that. The We Are Memory Keeper sells that punch tool that has a mechanism at the end that squishes down those eyelets. So I'll be sure to link that down below for you. I deconstructed that fabric clip and made a little slit in one of the pieces of fabric and then just tore it in half. That way it was a little bit thinner. And then I'm just gonna loop this through my tag just to add a little bit of fabric detail on here. So if you're not keen on using those tabs, the fabric tabs on your Bible pages, or maybe you just have a bunch of them and you wanna do something different, don't be afraid to deconstruct those and use the fabric in different ways in your journaling. So I 
off camera end up going ahead and writing in um, Ephesians 2 8 on the back of that tag in the pocket that says for by grace you have been saved through faith and this is not your own doing it is the gift of God and then on the back side I'll go ahead and add a prayer so I grabbed one of those clear stickers from the kit just to add some embellishment to the back and then I'm pulling out the clear alpha stickers that you can buy separately to coordinate with the kit. I'll go ahead and just spell out I am free. I use a mixture of these yellow ones and then the solid pink ones that come in the kit. I wrote out my prayer and then I'm just using some more tile alphas to spell out amen. And then I remembered I wanted to use this uh, Elemental Numbers stamp set because I wanted to identify which day of the kit this particular card was. And I'll do this for each one that I do. So I pulled out the December Ticket stamp. I'm inking it up with some gold uh, Delicata ink. This is the small ink pad, but you can buy the full size ones from By the Well for God. Everything will be linked down below. I'm just gonna go ahead and stamp that on another piece of the patterned papers. And I'm gonna fill in that open space with the 06 again inking up with that delicata ink and then i'll go ahead and fussy cut this out and it just gives you a really fun um, embellishment there when you stamp those stamps on pattern papers which is my tiny attacher to attach that to the front of the tag and like i said the the verse gets written on the back of the tag and then that is going to be it for the card today. So I hope that gives you some inspiration for some different ways to use some of the products um, from this kit, as well as some of the additional things like the foil quill pens um, and those kind of things. If you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave those down below. Definitely check out the description box for links to everything that I mentioned today. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. Be sure to click on the bell notification button so you don't miss any future videos from me. And until next time, thank you so much. Bye-bye.